show the all-new Crosswind. <laughs> Today's special guest star, the wonderful actor who's been home on Broadway television, Nashville, the John Scott. One of our most gifted young comedians and actors, the very funny Arsenio Hall. From the Emmy winning the young and the rest of the beautiful woman who portrays Dr. Casey Reed, Roberta Lake. Thank you very much. You make me feel so nice. Uh, nice studio audience out here. You folks at home, hello to you and welcome to Crosswoods. We got a terrific lineup of stars today. John Shuck and Arsenio Hall uh, just put down his paper and we thank you for that. <laughs> yes. Roberta Layton is with us from The Young and the Restless. And of course, Charlie Callis is here. Welcome to all of you and we'll catch up with you guys in a moment. First of all, we have to do a couple of introductions and we have to meet people. Amy Zimmerman is number one recently got engaged she is dying to show off this rock go ahead and is this hold time? it yeah well, it's this is this is live ah! it, Look at you guys. <laughs> it is there you hold it hold it up hold it up quickly now we'll go in and zoom it's a beautiful ring York there you go isn't that a beauty isn't that beauty that is congratulations to you thank you and uh and your uh, loving husband to be tell him uh he's got a, a good looking gal to well, to wed you. and thank welcome you. to the show amy thank all right you. now we're over to bob Gull Branson. Thank you, David. And you have a large collection of owls. For what yes. reason? Well, first of all, owls are supposed to be a symbol of good luck. I didn't and know. I hope they bring it to me today here well, on Crosswinds. I do too. I do too. And, and I have sure a, too. You've got, about uh, 50, you've got of in scrim 50 of them. Scrimshaw, 50 owls. porcelain, what have you. Look at Charlie, of course. <laughs> he's yes, he's going to be, be my lucky owl. owl. On your team. Enough foolishness. It is uh, time to talk about uh, how we play the game. You'll be given clues to words in a crossword puzzle, all of which add up to a person, place, or thing. Answering the clues correctly gives you control of the game, and the letters in these answers are worth points. Stars can help with the crossword answers, but only the contestant can solve the puzzle for bonus points. Thank you, Michelle. Let us see our first puzzle. Bob, you won the flip backstage. We are playing for five points per letter. It is a place that we are looking for. We're going to start with you and the beautiful Roberta Layton. Let's start with number lucky seven. Lucky seven, the man says. Lucky number seven. The English eat a lot of fish and what, Roberta? Uh, uh, fish and uh, 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 crumpets. No, wrong. Um, they uh, fish, fish and boy. No, wrong. David, would that be chips? Yes, it would I be chips. That. Good for you. Nice job, Bob. Yeah. Let's go with six down, please. Six down. Guessing the answers will help you blank, Charlie Callis. Ah, oh, yeah. I think I know that one. It's called win. Yes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> How about four across, please? You'd like to own it in Monopoly? Uh, uh, I'd like to personally own Park Place. Is that it? No? Keep trying. I, boardwalk. Yeah! I, I yeah. Won. Right. Okay, good. good for you. Bob? How about two down? This is a good one for Charlie Callis. Wheelers and... Uh, 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 uh you know, I, uh, yeah, it's called, uh, uh, dealers. Uh, yes. Uh, how about one across, David? Please. You got it. Good. It's the game sharks play. Uh, sh sharks play cards. Don't yes, they, they do. Can you solve this puzzle yet, Bob? David, I think I'm going to make an attempt at that, please. Would it be Atlantic City? Why are you asking me? You already know. It's Atlantic yes, City. Yes, sure it is. Good for you. Let's take a look up at the puzzle. And uh, Stars was three down. 
and Beach was uh, five down. So the score is 195 points for Bob and zero points for Amy, but that's because you Don't haven't really had yet. much of a chance yeah, yet, have yeah, you? Yeah, well, we're right. going to give you that chance when we come back with game number two. Remember something, folks, and contestants and stars. The person with the most points at the end of the three games is the one who goes on for a chance at the trip, as well as a brand new car. The music tells me it's time for a break. We'll be right back. points for Bob and no points yet for Amy. It's time to check in before we get going with game number two with John Shuck and with Arsenio Hall. Always a pleasure. John? Yes. You have a young son that you're very proud of. I sure am. He was five years old just a little while ago. That's the best. Aaron. Aaron is his name. Yes. For those who don't have children, you're missing something. For those of us who do, it's special, isn't it? Isn't that nice? Yeah. And a nice sentiment. Thank you for sharing that with us. And also, thank you for being on the show. Thank you. Arsenio Hall, touring with Patti LaBelle. What a special treat that must be. Yeah, she's a special lady. She's the kind of lady that you want to be if you're in this business. Very, very nice woman. I'm also doing a, uh, a cartoon with Ivan Rettman and Michael Gross called Ghostbusters from the movie. And what, when, uh, I'm, what... when I'm not doing the cartoon, I'm on the road with Patti. But, yeah. What part do you play in the, uh, in the... We talked about this. I'm the black man. Oh. <laughs> You forget, how easily you forget, I'm the black man. In most things I do, I'm the black man, okay, David? Can we play the game now? Come on. Yes, we can play the game, man, absolutely. <laughs> Thank you, Arsenio. It's, it's a person that we're starting here with. Amy, go ahead and pick a word for John Shuck, would you please? Start with one down. <laughs> he, he was one of Nixon's vice presidents. One of them. Yes, one of them. A-G-N-E-W. That doesn't fit. Bush uh, <laughs> Ford. That was good. That'll work. That'll work. Amy? Um, good. I didn't know that. Two across. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't know that, huh? You're too History. young for that, I guess. Much two across. Young. When a spy uses this code, he talks in dits and dots. Hmm. When a spy uses this code, he talks in dits and... Uh, Morse. Yes. Good. Yeah. Very nice. Amy. We'll go for three down. Is sure. That... In New York, you can't see that far? I'll call him up. Get okay. your, uh, get your fiancé to buy you some glasses, too, would you? In New York, con blank lights up your life. In New York, com? Con blank. It does? Yes. Oh, Con Edison. Sure. Of course. Who wouldn't do that? <laughs> Don't put on the glasses till after you're married. Okay. Don't put five? On the glasses till after you're the letter married. before the end. Is that five across? Sure it is. Okay, we'll take yeah, that. Yeah, five, five across. across. Frank Sinatra or <laughs> Ethel Merman? Frank Sinatra. Or Ethel Merman? They're the same. Uh, probably singers of songs. <laughs> Can we accept that? Yeah. Yes, we can. Yeah. It was in there somewhere. Amy? Let's try four down. The one in Philadelphia is cracked. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to know that hearing something like that sure rings my bell. Yo. Uh, <laughs> not only are our writers very clever on this show, but our stars are even uh, greater in Some that kind of uh, regard. Amy? Um, gee, I think we have to go six across. Gee, six across. This Houston can belt out a tune. Oh, who can belt? This Houston can belt out a tune. Uh, it's probably Whitney Sissy, uh, her brother Whitney. Morris. We'll, we'll stop uh, at Whitney. Sure. Good for you. I believe that everything is filled in there, Amy, and in so doing, you are forced to give us the solution to the puzzle. A person, not necessarily a proper name. An entertainer? Or. No, not an entertainer. You have 160 points now, 195 for Bob. You can pick up 50 points, Bob, if you can tell us what the solution to the puzzle is. David, is it inventors? We will accept that because it's right. Yeah! There you go. 
245 points. Now, let's take a look up at the puzzle. We got Ford, Morris, uh, Bell, Edison was certainly a Whitney, as in, I suppose, the cotton gin or Eli Whitney. Good for you. Nicely done. All right. Now, the score, 245 points for Bob, 160 points for Amy. And we're going to give you another chance to do some catching up in just a second, Amy. Thinking about that, we'll be right back. people here. Amy, you have 160, 245 for Bob. Before we do some catching up, to add 10 points per letter, Amy, we're going to check in uh, with Roberta Layton, Dr. Casey Reed on The Young and the Restless. For those people who would love an inspiration, Roberta, how did you get started in the business? I came fresh from college. Uh, came out and started watching, saw how things work. After six months, I was doing a Beretta, so that was just good luck for me. Just luck of the draw. Of course, if, uh, if you look like you, I guess... Uh, it helps a little bit. Well, and I tap dance, which is very important. And that I was mean, probably yeah. helpful uh, for the young and the reckless. Nice to see you on the show, and thank you for joining thank us. Thank you. Charlie, well, you're from, uh, what, New Jersey? New Jersey, yeah. The great state of New Jersey. New Jersey! Hey, let's hear New Jersey! You know, a lot, there's a lot of jokes going around about New Jersey now. Like, they used to pick on Brooklyn, but it's a beautiful state. It's called the Flower State, or the Garden State. And <laughs> the, the people... I, I love the people. They're very gregarious, very outgoing. It's the way they pay compliments. This actually happened. I was in a hotel in Atlantic City in an elevator. Person comes over to me and says, Hey, you Charlie Cows. Madonna, I love you. When you do that thing on Crosswitz with the duck, with the horse, I'll wet my pants. Oh, hey, do me a favor. I want you to meet my husband. Hey, Al, come in. You, hello, me, hello. Let's see puzzle number three, please. <laughs> it's a thing that we are looking for. And, and Amy, uh, we have 160 points for you. you got to do some catching up quickly. Okay. Pick a word for John Chuck. Let's catch up quick with four across. All right. RFD stands for Rural Free... What? RFD stands for Rural Free What? I didn't know that. Uh, delivery. Delivery, yes. <laughs> Amy? Let's go for five down. Arsenio, she plays Diane Chambers on Cheers. Mmm. Uh, I, I never watch her, and I love her, too. Uh, Lisa, uh, um... I know this one, Shelley Long. Yes! There you go. Oh, nice job. Amy, with that answer, you just jumped into the lead. 280 points for you, 245 for Bob. Let's go for six across. In 40s movies, tough guys used to call them gams. Yeah. They still do. But I call them legs. Legs. Yeah. Good to you. Three down. Two down. Two down. Something that has to be changed often, Arsenio. Gosh, it's either a diaper or a filter. <laughs> it's a diaper, as a matter of fact. Yeah. Of course. Amy. Let's go for one across. Someone who's a little cuckoo might be called a blank brain. Someone who's a little cuckoo might be called a blank brain. Uh, oh, bird. Yes. Just in time. Okay, Amy, nothing uh, to do now but either solve it or pass it over to Bob. Let's solve it. Is it a stork? What do you think? I think so. You know what? Yeah. You're right. Yeah. You win! Let's take a look up at the puzzle. We have bird, diaper, delivery, three across was baby. And of course, that all adds up to stork. So the final score was 520 points for Amy and 245 for Bob. Congratulations, Amy. Bob, you have a look of uh, chagrin over there. Uh, you didn't win, but you're a heck of a nice guy. Thank you. And... Uh, I would change that collection from owls to maybe something else. They didn't you bring you any luck, but you were fun uh, to have on the show, and I hope you enjoyed yourself. We're sending you home with a microwave oven and a trash compactor. Maybe that's what you can do with the owls. Put them in there. <laughs> nice to see you. <laughs>
Thank you for your bottom of the safe trip home. Amy, congratulations for being the winner. You got to take a star into the crossfire round. And uh, you're going to go for a chance at a trip to Heidelberg plus a brand new car. We'll be right back. Just about to be wed uh, to continue your lucky streak. You have chosen John Shuck. You're going into the crossfire round, and I'm sure you're going to do a great job. Should you do so, Michelle? Yes, David. Where are we going to send Amy and her fiance on honeymoon? Ooh, it's a romantic holiday for two to Germany. You and a guest will fly from Los Angeles to Heidelberg via Northwest Orient Airlines. Discover the giant 747 jet furnished by Northwest Orient Airlines. You'll enjoy six luxurious nights at the famous Holiday Inn located near the Heidelberg, decorated in Art Nouveau and boasting the lake of the Yon Restaurant. A total package valued at three thousand three hundred dollars. All right. Now, when's when's the wedding, Amy? In May. Okay. May All right. Very good. Uh, see to it that you don't take the trip with uh, with hubby to be until it is hubby. Uh, just a little uh, yes, reminder. Mother. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> if you win, you're also going to get a shot at a beautiful brand new car, Michelle. David, it could be the Pontiac Firebird featuring a fuel injected engine, automatic transmission, air conditioning, AM, FM stereo, and many other features furnished by Stan Chase and Pontiac. If you win the crossfire round and the car, you could win over $16,000 in prizes. All right, good for you. Now, look, if you got 60, 60 seconds to get the 10 words that are up there, and should you do so, it's going to be all for you. So, John, good luck to you. Amy, the you. best of luck to you, and yell out a word for me. Two down. Violent anger. Rage. Yes. Four across. Payment that doctors charge. Do. Uh, payment fee. Yes. One across. Monstrously ugly. Groget. Gro grotesque. grotesque. Yes. Three down. Grecian vases. Burn. Burn. Yes. Uh, five across. To drink slowly. Sip. Six. Yes. Six down. Cooking pots. Pans. Pans. Yes. Um, eight across. To participate in a game. Slay. Yes. Um, seven down. Above. Over. Over. Yes. Um, wait a second. Take a look up there quickly. <laughs> um, nine across. Using words. Verbal. Verbal. Yes. Ten across. Frank Sinatra is one. Singer! Singer! Can I tell you something? First of all, congratulations. I'm thrilled for you. And secondly, I am amazed at how good you were. Monstrous, monstrously ugly. You say grotesque. Like it was, you know, oh, everybody knows grotesque. I mean, no That's big why deal. She doesn't wear the glasses. Fantastic. I'm very proud of you, Amy. You did a beautiful job. And uh, as a result of your efforts, you are off to Heidelberg, Germany. Now, next phase is to talk about cars, right? During the commercial break, you gave each of our stars a box. Each box contains the name of one of those stars. Tell us, first of all, which car you want. The Firebird, the Fiero, the Blazer. We're going to go for the Blazer. What a nice family thing to do. Isn't that nice yes, for the kids? I think you're going to love the Blazer with the kids and the whole deal. Nice after choice. we get married, David. We have three terrific stars up here after you get married. Our CEO <laughs> Hall, we have Roberta Layton, and we have Charlie Callis up here. Who has the blazer in their little um, Crosswitz box? I can't decide on the two. They gave me lucky nickels. <laughs> <laughs> Flip the nickel. Oh, that's an idea. Heads okay. is our CEO. Heads blue. Heads blue, okay. Heads okay. blue, tails. Okay, Heads is blue. Roberta, do you have it? Roberta, yes, is there sure a blazer in there? Yard. The blazer! <laughs> Go give her a hug. Come over here. Come over here, Amy, quickly. Come over here quickly. Congratulations. It's wonderful. Thank what a you. wonderful way to send you on a honeymoon. Thank Keep you. that nickel. Do something okay. good with it. Maybe uh, think of us at Crosswitz. We enjoyed it, Stars. You're wonderful. Thanks for the week. We loved it, John. Thank you. I'm David Spark saying goodbye from Crosswitz. Take care of yourselves. Good morning, class. Cookology. The study of... Good taste. In fact, the taste that stands the test. Yes! The test where new Coke takes on Pepsi, i.e. That's as in... The new Coke pop quiz.
Cocologist! Dismissed. All others pay attention. When Coke did take on Pepsi in nationwide tests, more people chose Coke over Pepsi. Prove it to yourself. You'll see why more people are choosing the taste of Coke. Catch the wave, Coke. Your favorite celebrities play TV's most puzzling game, the Crosswinds. That car could be yours, all gassed up and waiting if you've got it. Shirley Temple Black? You got it! Yeah! There's excitement for the whole family when you catch the all-new Crosswits. Tomorrow night at 7. Turn to the Century Morals tomorrow, 8 to 10. Your favorite celebrities play TV's most puzzling game, the Crosswits. All right, classic animated Disney Fantasia. movie. Good. Our lovers quarrel. Yeah! excitement for the whole family when you catch the all-new Crosswinds. Monday at 7.